It's time to review some capitalism, mother friends. The n -n 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 oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't cut in the first 30 seconds of a YouTube video anymore. I forgot that's a new rule. Every single time YouTube puts out new rules, I feel like they're specifically pointed to me. It is that time of the year, girly. Well, next month will be that time of the year. But Pride Month is coming up, girlies. Girl of friends. And just like every year, we're going to have a surplus of major corporations selling rainbow-themed products and some products with the word gay written on top of it. All for the joy of Facebook mom allies to showcase their Facebook mom allyship to other Facebook mom allies. <laughs> That's right, the Target Pride collection has dropped. <laughs> and today we're gonna review it. We're going to review the vibe of it. Does it give me made by a gay vibe? Or does it give me uh, I need to stay away vibe? You know? Made by a gay or need to stay away. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. I just made that up right now. Oh my God. Put that on the shirt and sell it at Target. There, you're welcome. And I'm shirtless too. Look at me. Oh my God. I'm not getting a single cent from this video. I cussed in the beginning. I'm shirtless and this video is about gay. Girl, super thanks are a thing if y'all want to tip me. <laughs> Oh my god, whoa! Oh my goodness, I didn't see you there! Oh no! Oh, 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 no. oh. Rainbow oh. Myself. Target Pride 2023, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get into this, let's talk real quick. I feel like in the last video of me reviewing the Target Pride, I was a bit hard, a bit mean, a bit unrealizing. And because media literacy has noticeably declined over the past 10 years, specifically over the past five, I decided it is now my responsibility to set up my parameters for my humor. I am not set out here to cancel any Pride collections of any corporations whatsoever. I just find Pride collections put on by corporations very hilarious because they're usually wrapped around the same five images. And two of those images involve Trixie and Katya. Two! Yes, I'm gonna make some rough. Yes, I'm gonna make some critique. Yes, I'm gonna make some satirical remarks. Cute little jabs. Cute little puns. Cute little cackles. Cute little reactions. All seemingly wrapped around the idea of corporate give back versus PR stuff. Never am I trying to disparage the designers of these outfits or criticize them as untalented in any single way. Many of these artists that actually make these pie collections nowadays are queer people themselves because these corporations have learned over the years. And one thing I'm going to support is my fellow queer people draining these corporations for every single penny they have, okay? If these companies wanna pour millions of dollars to us gays just to put some rainbow flags on their Site with some love and hey queen on the side. And I am going to rock with it, girl. Pay our rent. Also, you have to understand that these are corporate approved ideas. So I am walking into this with the full known knowledge that these are not the pinnacle example of these designers and artists' actual work. Because when creatives work with corporate, the creatives kind of get trimmed down a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a fucking lot. So I'm more criticizing the choices that Target has made than the artists themselves. So I know some of these designers don't want to just put a rainbow heart on a shirt for the rest of their lives. But if putting a rainbow heart on the shirt will give them thousands of dollars, then girly, they're going to do that every single year. <laughs> also, before I start this video, I thought, huh, Target isn't the only company that's doing pride collections. I know that for a fact. So I decided to do a little search. So today, we're not just reviewing Target's pride collection. We're also going to review Walmart and Macy. Very typically well known, and we knew they had a pride collection. But also, I will be reviewing the pride collection of Levi, Adidas, Kohl's, and Dick's Sporting Goods. All of which came up right when I Google searched Pride Collection. So I don't know what the fuck I'm about to see. But Dick Sporting Goods took me out, girl. It took me out. I have not seen the page yet, so I'm very scared. But if I don't see a shirt with a baseball, soccer ball, and football on it that says I'm a balls man, you have done your job incorrectly. Almost short. Take pride. Being true to yourself and your community is something to celebrate all year long. But we only update this once a year. <laughs> Ooh, what do they have for kids and babies? Oh no. Don't show Tucker Carlson this. <laughs> he might come. Wait, no, that was to a green M&M, right? That was to a green M&M. Oh, wow. Being proud. What does that mean? Being proud? Why is it spelled like that? Why is it so like funky? Like, ooh, being proud. Okay, I'm into it though. <laughs> Bitch, that says BN proud. I need to go. <laughs> Already starting off great, guys. You see, I know what I'm doing here. I'm a professional. I did see earlier in the site they were collaborating with a Latin and queer-owned brand. I guess we're gonna be seeing a lot of BN proud, girl. BN proud! What does BN mean again? You see, the problem is I live in Southern California and I took Spanish for four years. I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know why y'all think anything else. <laughs> BN means good, right? Like, BN dia. So it's good proud. What? I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a Spanglish type of situation where it's bien proud, like being proud though. Like a play on, like a pun. So I'm not far off, okay? So I'm not stupid. I got it before I understood it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't 
never known, I mean. A little bib that says, I am proud of you always. A little words of encouragement from your baby as you're constantly fucking up their life. I feel that, I get that. Oh, I hope I don't leave you with years of trauma. Oh, bodysuit. I like how they call it a bodysuit. I have never once seen a baby wearing something like this and was like, oh, it's a bodysuit. Girl, that's just a baby's baby thing, girl. I don't fucking know. Easy access to the diaper suit, you know? I really like the be true to you with a very confusing looking rainbow, actually. The more I look at it, I don't think anything on that rainbow is right. But at the same time, it's babies, girl, whatever, you know? You gotta start choosing them the other colors at the early age, you know? Like teal and sea foam green. Work! It takes all kinds with a bunch of random animals? What am I missing here? What does this mean? Where are we going? Why is this pride? Like, it takes all kinds of people to make the world go round. Like, there's different types of animals in the world, so there's different types of people. Girl, I'm thinking way too deep. Also, a unicorn's not real, so that kind doesn't really take at all, you know? Last year we had classics like rainbow suit and lesbian flag dress. So I really hope we get some continuations in that era. I would like to be down that line. And up, the first thing I see is a Trixie Mattel shirt. See what I told you? They are their own category at this point. They don't even go in the category of drag queens anymore. It's now drag queens and then Trixie and Katya. You can thank YouTube for that. Honestly, we did that. We did that. We did that. <laughs> Why am I holding a screwdriver? Blair. Here we go! Ride adult short sleeve rainbow woven button down shirt right Here it is, baby, baby! Baby, baby! Hot season is here upon us! Get your K out! Get your K out! Get, get, get your K! See, they even included the black, and I'm guessing that's supposed to be brown stripe, but it's just two oranges, and it looks kind of awkward. But you know what? They figured it out. You know what? I'm kind of into it. I wouldn't buy it, but I'm into it. Dress your dapper best for pride fest festivities in this pride rainbow short sleeve woven button down shirt makes a great pick for pride parties parades and more to show your love and support for the lejabankakotakoyaka exactly pride collections are more for the allies i feel like <laughs> And then part of the proceeds go to something that will hopefully lead us to not being thrown in prison or killed. But how they're trying to like ban trans people, whatever happened to my body, my choice. Uh, here we go, next category. Shit's Creek. Yes. 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 I like the wine, not the label. Y'all remember that scene. Right adult Shit's Creek tank top white. Why it gotta be white? It goes all the way up to four X. Okay. Okay, Target. Okay, we're learning. Now we got a Pride adult short sleeve boiler suit. I have never once heard this be called a boiler suit before. That sounds disgusting, can we not? Ah, uh, yes, do you like my boiler suit? Girl, is this the 1920s? Are we on a cruise ship? I did not know the Queen Mary was still on the ocean, girl. Boiler suit, okay, Sherlock Holmes. I really like the color. I used to be really into rompers. I was wearing them all the time at the music festivals, my pussy and such. But then one of the rompers popped and I never wore them again, you know? But I like the color, I like the lavender. I like that the gay is subtle. Like it's like very obviously there. But then if you were like to walk into like an uncomfortable environment, you can just easily cover it with your hand. We love that, girl. We love that here. Discreet for safety. Oh, no gay. What? Uh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I'm wearing booty shorts. Just in case you guys didn't know, I was a uh, homosexual. You ugly. Adult rainbow pride check bikini swim top. Period. Period. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm also not a fan of checkerboard pattern shit, girl, okay? I couldn't get into the scuff world back in the 2000s. I was also a child, so I didn't need to. I am not into it. It's giving like the patterns you make on flags in Animal Crossing, you know what I mean? Ooh, queer, queer, queer. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like the color scheme. I'm into it, girl. They also like this person's hair. Oh my God. Should I do that? Can I get braids? No. No. 
No. The fact that I verbalized that out loud just put me in so much fucking trouble. Ooh, I'm not gonna hear the end of it from anybody now until I do it. Oh my god. I like it. I'm into it. Even though weird is apparently still seen as a slur in the South, which is something I like just recently discovered. We've been trying to reclaim it everywhere else, but in the South, there's still like a little bit of a battle. And all I can say to that is don't let the oppressors win, girly. Don't let the oppressors win. Don't make them make you uncomfortable of a word that is as beautiful as this. You know, being weird is cool. The South just hasn't caught on to that yet. And you see the problems that are happening because of that, okay? Um, uh, okay? Ooh, super queer. Oh no, avert your eyes, Texas. With the checkerboard too. Okay, do gays just like checkerboard patterns now? Did I miss the memo? Have I not been updated? And I would buy this if the print didn't look uncomfortable. Like, that looks like a lot of fucking, like, ink or whatever product that is. Like, it looks stiff. Like, way too stiff. But it's a cute design, girl. It's a cute design. Oh, God. God. White adult knitted bodycon skirt. And there's a top, girl. There's a top. That wasn't in the preview photo. I saw four. It's a whole outfit. See, if I saw someone walk towards me during Pride, and girl, during Pride, she is not sober, I would probably get very dizzy. Like, right now, just moving my head around, I'm seeing some fuzzies. And girl, I'm sober. I also like how she's wearing her Converse. With her dress, oh baby. That's just me. Ah. Oh. It has returned. We brought it back, but we made it bigger. And we call this a checkered skater dress? A skater dress. Skater dress? We're learning. So many new things today. Boiler suit. Skater dress. Everybody got an outfit, apparently. Every hobby, every occasion. Not into it. Like, I really just don't, I don't vibe with it. And I feel bad. Like, I feel so bad. Like, this really gives me art teacher vibe. Miss Frizzle. She was an art teacher. What was she? What was she, a science teacher? Also, that show didn't really go over the idea of consent. Because we were taking those kids to a lot of places without their knowledge. <laughs> give me something crazy, Target. Like, give me lesbian dress, but like, improve. Oh no. Girl, they have a whole collection of the checkered shit. Why? <laughs> This is it. This is the move. They said, fuck the lesbian pride shirt. Fuck the rainbow suit, girl. We're giving you checkered smock. Put it on, show your pride. Good luck. Too queer for here, me. I don't exist. I'm too gay. I'm sorry. I'm too gay. I had to leave because I was too gay. I love how the We Belong Everywhere messenger bag is right next to the Too Queer For Here messenger bag. You know, just to add that small layer of confusion, you know, this is just a constant back and forth mindset of a gay person. They got that right. Somebody gay put that together, okay? You want to be able to walk to every corner, you know? But sometimes every corner can't handle us, girl. We gotta leave. We gotta leave. We gotta hurry out. Pride adult, not a phase, short sleeve t-shirt, but it's showing the phases of the moon. Ah, clever. This this gives very much Pinterest vibe. It's giving me Facebook circa 2016. It's giving me Tumblr. You scroll past this right after a picture of a crystal in a waterfall. And then some photo with a visco cam filter over it. You know, that era of Tumblr. I'm actually quite disappointed. There seems to be no lesbian dress this year. It seems like it was fully replaced by the checkerboard. You know what, on that point, I think it's time to check these other stores out. Pride and joy. Celebrating the Lichibukatakawake Kataki. Yes, girly. We're here. Ellen John, I wear. Ooh. Ooh. And we are backing out of that. Thank you, John. Ooh, toys and collectibles, girl. Let's see. Gay toy. Gay toy. Okay, root. RuPaul has a little action figure? <laughs> little People Collector RuPaul Special Edition figure set for adults and fans. They had to make that clear. We still got a major clientele in the South, girl. We have to make that specific on this website. We don't want the Proud Boys rioting in our fucking store. Oh my God, not the JoJo Siwa doll. <laughs> They didn't do anything special to this doll, girl. There ain't no special Pride edition, girl. JoJo C was just gay as fuck now. So they said, girl, get your ass in the Pride collection. <laughs> They said, girl, your toys go here. Oh, she munches box? Okay, right in here you go, lady. <laughs> ah, she dips into the birth giving crevice. Ah, you know exactly where her dolls can go now. And here's another one. Once again, nothing added to it. No special pride edition. It's just the girl's gay. Why do I find this a bit problematic? I don't know. We'll unpack that later. It's Walmart, girls. It's Walmart. They ain't saving the world anytime soon. You see, look it. Look it. The brats have always been those ride or die girlies from the fucking junk. You cannot tell me otherwise. Brats have been allies since birth. And look at this. We are unapologetic. Uh, I can't even think straight. Never heard of Roxy and Nerva in my entire life. They ain't the main girlies, but you know what? They deserve to be now. With this garb, this get up bitch, with that hair. Jesus Christ, they have a lot of hair. Why am I in love? Let's yeah. get into the clothes. Ooh, JoJo Siwa. Yeah. Oh, it's a family. Whoop, boop, 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 boop. And 
the dog too, period. Is this gay? I don't think it is. Really, nothing about this seat. Like, the pattern is not that queer. It's not that homosexual. It's just a bunch of colors in stripes. Walmart's trying to make a buck, girl. They said gays, hey. Y'all like JoJo Siwa, right? You like that lesbian. We still got her merch here. Oh, Okay, we already saw enough of that. Let's move on. That was for y'all. That was for y'all. You already know I don't give a shit. There's surprisingly like not that much like interesting fashion choices. Like I was expecting a lot more like weird sayings and like crazy shapes and like, you know, lesbian dress. But no, we're not getting that right now. We got a tie-dye Scooby-Doo. I don't think this was supposed to be gay at all. This is just colorful. That's what Walmart right now is doing. Their pride collection is just shit that they sell on a normal occasion that's colorful that they now just grouped up together and said, it's pride, it's pride. Yeah, it's pride. Don't worry, it's pride. Don't worry, don't worry it's pride. Don't look at it, it's pride. Oh, we got a little rainbow flag. Girly dress. This looks disgusting, but you know what? We stand, ooh. I might need to take that back real quick because this one's a serve, girly. We love Minnie Mouse. And then we got a tie-dye Jurassic Park. Not pride, but it's colorful. Some people are gay. Get over it. Yeah! This shirt, very obviously, someone just typed these words on Photoshop and then put them on a gray shirt template and then Walmart just placed that on their website. Oh, Walmart. A company with so much money but gives so little effort. Like, all the time. Never really tries. But makes millions. Millions, girly. Allies! Oh! Here we go, girls! Time to shine! LGBT straight ally pride flag all over toddler t-shirt. Oh, for those toddler allies, you know. Before they were taught to hate. Girl, before they were taught to hate human. Yes. Okay. Walmart is straight up giving us Pinterest mom with these designs, though. These designs are the bare motherfucking minimum, girl. These designs are from Redbubble. And I fully believe it. This is some pick art shit. Microsoft Word. Put a little filter over it and then put $15 in front of it, girl. What are these photos with it? What? 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 Walmart, born this way. Pride. Can't hide my pride. Literally, this is pick art. They literally got some stock photo images. Bought the license for that shit. And said, we're gonna make thousands, bitch. Proud mom. Love is love. Equality. An outline of California, but in rainbow. These are so boring. I'm sorry, but I am not sorry. These are boring as fuck. The MTV logo, but that's not even gay. That is a logo tee they've literally been selling for like decades now. Like I know it's been like a thing to go deep in the target. I don't know why no one's talking about the complete minimal effort from Walmart. Of all places. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, human. Girl, we have teleported back to 2010. I swear to God. Now we're at Macy's. Pride and joy. Okay, you see there's a little bit more effort now. We got a little banner. Macy's thought this through. Let's see what they got. Ooh, a car with la ga la 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 You know that man. The Met Gala man. The Met Gala man. Lunchbox. No, with the trans flag colors in the center, girlies. We're into that. We are into that. For 136 Dollars. Originally 228 for a fucking lunchbox? Girly, maybe we're not into it actually. Maybe this might be a little bit homophobic. Maybe this might be a little bit transphobic too. I don't know. And as you see, there's some pride bracelets that I've been passing by, but I don't give a shit about these fucking bracelets, girl. I can make these myself. Why would I pay 200 goddamn dollars? Now we're paying attention to the fucking bracelets, girl. Do you see these prices? Hold on. 200 bucks for a silver bracelet that says pride on it? Girl, why? If I heard someone pay $200 to get me a pride bracelet, I would probably punch them in the face. You can get so much more off of this list with that $200. You can buy me multiple of these jammy by hip style woman printed Henley with short set. I don't fucking know what that is. A $200 pride net? Okay, no. Someone's going to hell. We got pride in the corporations, but at what cost, girl? At what cost? Apparently $200 fucking dollars, that's what. Ah, look it. Another Carl Lagerfeld for $228. What is this? I did not know Macy's was so expensive. I also have not shopped at a Macy's in years. Now I see how they keep themselves afloat. Just walking in there, buying one item is like basically their rent. Buying an outfit is literally the mortgage of a house. Oh look, gay Mickey. Here we go. Gay Mickey. Okay, I'm over it. Yeah, I'm not vibing with Macy's. This is kind of disappointing. Katy Perry? <laughs> okay, Levi's, how do you show up? Okay, period. They started aggressive. We started rough. They say, what you gonna do? Who you been? What you is? <laughs> 
What you doing? Ooh, ooh, bitch. This season, we're celebrating all the different ways of showing up as yourself. Self. Okay, period. Maybe they invented denim jeans. You understand that? Like, that's how old this company is. Understand that corporations like this, Levi specifically, don't gotta be doing this shit to impress anybody, girl. They're gonna stay around forever. They created the patent for denim jeans. That company is going nowhere anytime soon. <laughs> Literally, a man with the name Levi created <laughs> denim jeans and then created a company that has been here ever since. But let's see what we got, what we got. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's a theme to this shit. There's an entire vibe to this shit. I'm into it. This is me. I'm more around this vibe. Minus the crop top and the jacket, you know, if the shirt was fully full, that's me, you know. Maybe not the boots, though. I don't wear boots. This is not me at all. I don't know why I'm capping. This is a vibe. Meet the cab. A textile artist. He buys Try extra baggy long shorts. Nothing about it screams get. But I want to get that this line was designed by that textile artist who was probably a queer a person. And I'm guessing this is what they created. This is like really fashionable shit. Like this is shit you can wear outside of Pride. Like this jacket, hold Hold on. Levi's Pride Liberation Tucker jacket. Radical love, girl, that's it. That's a vibe. That's me. That's me. With the little rainbow splotchy underwear, we get it. Radical love, I'm into it. I'm into this collection. It's subtle, but for some weird reason, you can tell there was like ample like of thought to it. Like it's very little, which I understand because I've never been inside a Levi's store that was bigger than this room. <laughs> And then the Levi's Prism T-shirt, Pride Community T. Okay, I'm into it. This is a buy. You see, I would buy this shit. And then whatever the hell this is. This is WeHo on a Saturday night, girlie. Downtown LA, when Lady Gaga's in town. You know what I mean? In my past experience of Levi's, they don't really sell that much in their stores. Other than like denim on denim and denim and more denim. This is definitely like a Pride collection I'd see Levi's sell. Like it's not them completely stepping out of their aesthetic, but then also creatively declaring a Pride collection. It's actually kind of nice. I actually really like it. I vibe with it. I vibe with it. About this screams gay. <laughs> Girl, this is not pride. It's just random clothes y'all put into the pride section. Nary a, a rainbow. Nary a love is love. Oh no, this is their pride collection. Celebrate the community with bold, vibrant, and uplifting designs. Hmm. hmm. I mean, I guess it's vibrant, but do you not sell this regularly? Oh, oh, I see what they did. Oh my god, I see it. They made it a rainbow. It's a rainbow when you scroll down. It's a rainbow of color. That's what made it gay. They said, we're not gonna try one bit, girl. You're gonna buy our regular shit. Girl, I'm scared. I don't even know when the last time I even saw a Kohl's was. I have not seen a Kohl's in years. Damn near a decade, I think. I don't even, yeah, damn near a decade. Love is our favorite color. Oh, hey, meet the designer. Oh my God. Look at that. Okay, Emily Burry, they, them. Okay, period. Queer people designing queer shit for queer people and their allies. Got a mug that says, be proud of who you are. Ooh, be who you are. Be proud. Don't hide. That's what this mug says. That's what this mug says for you, girlie. Great against hate. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's by Fluid. You remember them from the last video? It seems that Target broke up with them and Coles picked them right back up. Uh oh. And I see they also got some Tomboy X. Okay. Target spit them out, moved on to someone else, and Coles said, Come here. Come here, baby. We got some rug. We got some rainbow blanket. Hey, Cole, it is your turn. Give me something crazy. Real quick. Quick crazy. There's a lot of Disney, which is surprising. I did not expect Disney to be selling their shit out of Cole's. But I think I'm just being a little bit classist. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Is Cole's just... Wait, hold on. Is Kohl's like the Nordstrom rack of Target? Did I just figure something out real quick? It's the rainbow suit from Target being sold at Kohl's. Or am I crazy? Am I blanking out? Like I was originally joking about Kohl's just taking over the leftovers of Target, but now I'm starting to think that Kohl's is the leftovers of Target. Girl, I don't know. I haven't been in the Kohl's in forever. I have a little respect pronoun shirt, period. Gay Coca-Cola, period. The gays love Coke. I didn't say shit, I'm sorry. Oh, can't hide my pride. Yeah. Be who you are. Okay, let me stop. Uh, it's oh wait, no, we're not stopping right now. Cause they got a $140 gay Santa bitch. bitch. That's the wrong month. <laughs> Santa's a bear. Santa's a bear, okay? Yeah. I haven't heard about Mrs. Claus in quite a while now. I think we know what happened. What? Okay.
I'm scared. <laughs> the last time I entered a Dick's Sporting Goods was when I did sports. And if you can't tell, that was a long time ago. If you couldn't see, if you couldn't have guessed, that was quite a while ago. What the dick be given? Are we gonna get that good dick? Got some pride slides, okay. Run proud, rather than running scared, you know? What we do in sports? What I did in sports, girl. What I did in sports, I was a runner back. They made me catch the ball, girl. I had to run, I was terrified. But also, only in an extra small. So love to see that that didn't get replenished anytime soon, even though next month is Pride. So nothing terrifying, nothing scary, it's boring, but you know, it's here. Pride is blank. What is it, honey? Oh, there's a bag. Love, amour, ma, le what? Oh, Pride is love? Okay, this is a very weird shirt. That's very weird. If I saw this walking towards me, I'd be very confused. I'd be like, I'm about to fight. But then they walk past me and I'll see the back and I'm like, okay, okay, an ally, okay, I stand. Bro, what's going on? What does it say? Say, be, 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 I might just get this jersey real quick. I don't know. I hate it. Okay, thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, I'm done. That is enough rainbow for me today. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I just got a tweet that just shifted the narrative right now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait, there it is. Live, laugh, lesbian. Oh my god. That is fucking genius. <laughs> That is ultimate Pinterest girly attire if I've ever fucking seen it. So simple, yet so effective. This is gonna sell out quick, girl. Y'all better grab it, hunty. I might grab one. I'm not even a lesbian. This makes me think that the people that make the shit for Target 110% have a sense of humor. Cause there's no way in hell someone pitched this idea without letting out a few chuckles. Cause girly, this is fucking gold. Oh, I'm sorry, don't mind me. Just live laughing and lesbian -ing. Which one are you, girlies? I identify as loud. Okay, okay, I'm done. Comment down below, what was your favorite you saw tonight? Also comment down below, if you could make a clothing item for Pride, what would you make? I would make a regular black shirt in white font. Big white bold font. Gay? Question mark. And on the back, in the smallest fucking font. Yes, please. Please, I wanna go. We have memberships going on. I'm playing some games over there. If you guys wanna watch me stream some games. My Japan trip is coming up. August 12th. We're going on a food journey. I'm not leading the tour. But yeah, check it out. If you guys want to, link will be down in the description. Hello. My name is Mac, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Live, laugh, lesbian. Oh my god. <laughs>